drama continuing to unfold uh, in the United States. So talk us through exactly what has happened. Why was the acting attorney general fired and what has the reaction been to this move in the States? Yes, it's been another frenetic day in this Trump administration era. This is just the beginning of, of week two. And uh, this announcement came late in the evening on Monday. Donald Trump had fired his acting attorney general, Sally Yates. We had a statement from the White House uh, on that saying that she had betrayed the Department of Justice by refusing to enforce a legal order designed to protect the citizens of the United States. And they didn't waste any time finding a replacement for her either. Dana Boente, a attorney from Virginia, has already been sworn in and he has said he is ready to fulfill um, the role of office uh, as the acting US Attorney General. And it will be a brief period he's in the role because, of course, Donald Trump is trying to get his pick for the permanent position of US Attorney General Jeff Sessions through a Senate confirmation, uh, probably going to happen in the next 24 hours because Donald Trump is facing a lot of legal challenges over this executive action to ban all refugees from entering the United States for 120 days and, of course, prevent um, people from those Muslim-majority countries, seven countries, from entering for the next uh, three months. So uh, it would be certainly something that the US top prosecutor will have their hands full with on day one. Kevin, we've also seen diplomats at the State Department internally expressing their dissent towards this ban. How significant is that? It's highly significant because you have State Department officials who have uh, perhaps served under multiple administrations. They know this job inside out. They know the, complex, the complexity involved in governing from that State Department and taking care of the U.S. interests abroad. Uh, and they've come together in protest over this executive um, action, uh, which was signed into law by Donald Trump last Friday. They disagree with it. They have concerns over it. Uh, but there was a reaction from Sean Spicer, the White House press secretary, and that was one of, you know, if you don't, if you don't like what we're doing here, then here's the door and, and off you go. So you've got this extraordinary turn of events where you have, the, you know, this willingness to let go of these incredibly experienced, devoted uh, personnel. And, and where exactly is this administration going to find easy replacements? It perhaps won't be that straightforward, so they need to be careful. Mm, indeed. Kevin, good to speak to you. Kevin McAleese there for us in Washington, D.C.